ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get the second half rolling. Uh, your next act, originally from uh, New Zealand, now lives in London, a very, very funny man. You ready to see him? Comedy, stop! Welcome to the stage, Richard Lindsay! Hello. It's fun, isn't it? Sorry to start tonight with a joke about this man. <laughs> My favourite thing with mint sauce is them. <laughs> Thanks for trusting me on that one. There's something I like about people in Australia, you're very, very trusting. I'd be suspicious about giving my money to a bank called NAB. <laughs> Yes, I live in the UK. I was walking along the street the other day, right? And this guy jumps out in front of me and goes, I'm going to knife you. But well, one suggestion, if we could change the utensil to a spoon, then it would be lovely for both of us. <laughs> but he said no. Not very nice of him, leading me on like that. So I stabbed him. <laughs> when in Rome. So I'm actually quite the expert when it comes to food. For instance, did you know that blood oranges were originally just ordinary oranges? Hanging around the dangerous streets of LA? Actually, well done, all of you got that joke. It requires quite a weird mixture of knowledge. <laughs> LA gang culture and exotic fruit. <laughs> what really worries me, though, is Japanese restaurants. Because they always serve raw salmon, and I don't want to catch chicken, Ella. I don't really get that one myself. <laughs> what really worries me though is jelly babies. Because they're a gateway food, aren't they? Before people move on to the hard stuff. Real babies. <laughs> There's three things I like about my girlfriend, and that's just her teeth. I had trouble with spelling when I was a kid at school, I had trouble with spelling. And the teacher said to me, well, A for effort. Yeah, she couldn't spell either. I always thought it would be a good idea for parents to give children really old-fashioned names because then by the time they grow up, trends might have changed and the name might be okay again. Who I try explaining that to my kids, Genghis and Adolf? <laughs> Such fussy girls. <laughs> In my last job, right? I remember I called in sick one day, right? And they said, before you come back in, you need to get a doctor's certificate. Nine years later, finally graduated. <laughs> and I remember I already was a doctor. I caught up with my brother recently. He's put on a bit of weight and started liking both men and women, uh, by and large. <laughs> From New Zealand. 
was seven when I first went to a farm, and this kid came up to me and said, Hi, I'm a stable boy. So I pushed him over. <laughs> <laughs> Proved him wrong. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Richard. Have a good one. Bye.